at a certain point in our lives, we have to own our emotions and we have to own how they impact every aspect of our life. And if you want success in relationships or at work or with family or with friends, then you got to start focusing on your future and what that's going to look like. You know, focusing on the past that brings that negativity because you had hurt or abused or neglect or other feelings. You know, you can't rest in that. Past emotional triggers create your default and your default emotions Establish how you think and talk about yourself. On the other side, though, achievement, reward, and success, they can fuel positive talk. The more of these positive emotions or uh, positive experiences you have, they change and build your self-confidence and they build your self-worth. These feelings also determine how you respond and operate in every part of your life. So the goal is to address the negative feelings of the past so that they can become a motivation for your personal development and so that you can have achievement and have reward and success because you will be focused on those things that bring positivity in your future. And if all this around you or that all this surrounds you reminds you of everything that you think went wrong in your past, then you have to decide to create a different environment for yourself. And this transformation starts with how you talk about yourself. Can you identify a recent situation or a recent incident that happened where you experienced negative self-talk? And think about what exactly you said to yourself. Now, let's talk about how to beat negative self-talk. And the one tool that you need is self-awareness. Take a moment to sit by yourself, think or reflect on your thoughts and feelings. Are you a negative in your conversations with other people? Do you blame yourself when things don't go like you plan? Recognize these patterns. And that's the first step to making a change in them. You're gonna transform from a negative self-talking trigger responder to an emotional planner focused on positivity. Because when you're in the midst of wanting different outcomes or experiences in your life, you first need to focus on your internal, not on the task that you need to do. Like we're ready to get a new look. We're ready to start looking for a new job or a new relationship when things don't work our way. Understanding who you are to yourself determines how you speak about yourself and your potential to live a fulfilling life a life of sophisticated empowerment. Proverbs 18.21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Positive speech can lead to a better life while negative talk, it does the exact opposite. So reflect on this verse and it will encourage you to focus on positive thoughts and positive words. So next. Let's shift our focus to building positive self-talk. Picture your future self. How would you like to see yourself in the future? What positive self-talk would support your vision? So what you're going to do is set up emotional boundaries and focus on future-oriented activities that align with your goals and dreams. Most women judge themselves by what other women do or have, not about who they are and who they want to be in the future you know, comparing yourself to other people, that type of self-view can develop inadequacy. If there isn't first an understanding of the desires that you have and why you have them, then inadequacy will follow. What someone else has isn't necessarily better, and it wouldn't be better for you. Because the reality is you wouldn't trade your life for just one or two aspects of somebody else's life that you think are like, oh, wow, she has that or she can do that. You wouldn't change your whole life just for those one, two, or two aspects of somebody else's life. What you would do would just be introspective and focus on what it is that you need to do to achieve what it is that you want. You know, sometimes it takes a reality shift in order to get to that point. 
I can tell you when I was going through a divorce in my first marriage, I had that reality shift from thinking that I was in a certain place in my life to realizing that maybe there's some work I need to do on myself. I'll tell you quickly. I was invited to my goddaughter's third birthday party. Now, beforehand, these were family friends that, you know, my husband and I, first husband, would go to events together with that family. You know, so going through the divorce and being separated was hard enough. But in addition to that, I wasn't satisfied with where I was in my career. So I got to the party, all of the women there, they were seemingly happy. They were in their chosen career or they had a family or they were married or there were things going on in their life. And that's when I suddenly realized that I wasn't in the place that I thought I was. I listened to them talk about remodeling their basement or uh, what they did on vacation or, you know, one had come back from a retreat and another had earned an additional degree. And you know what? I looked around and then I looked at myself and I didn't feel good about myself. To the point that I suddenly started feeling myself welling up with tears. And, you know, I started that negative self-talk track. I started saying, so what have you been doing with your time? You know, I thought I was living a good life, but I hadn't done anything by myself for myself. The truth is that I was shocked at how unfulfilled my life truly was. It was at that moment that I knew I had to want more for myself and I had to achieve more. I vowed to never, ever feel inadequate in that way again. You know, like I said, I didn't want the life that those women had, but I sure did want the satisfaction that they appeared to have. I went and started working on myself in silence. I made plans to start becoming the person to live the life that I desired. I took small actions and had small achievements that helped to build my self-confidence and my self-worth. You know, everyone is talking about a glow, but glow ups take time and they require change in your mindset and change in your word. You're your only competition. So speak to yourself like you're already the person you want to be in three months or in one year or five years from now, positively. What you think are underlying reasons and experience that contribute to your negative self-talk. What is, if you're struggling with negative self-talk and want a practical guide to nav navigate life's complexity with grace and strength, check out my book, Brains and Bobbles, Do What Works For You. It's filled with strategies to help you break free from chains of negativity and embrace a life of sophisticated empowerment.